Good morning, oil traders. It is Thursday, July 13th at 8.42 a.m. So we're still about 45 minutes away from North American trading open. And uh, as you can see, uh, the bulls are hanging on for dear life. Uh, so European traders uh, in the early hours of this morning took us down and tested 45, but we shot right back up. And we were holding, you know, more or less around uh, below yesterday's closing, um, kind of in the fourth, 45.30, 45.20 range, somewhere in there. Um, and uh, just at around eight o'clock this morning, we were, it looked like we were heading down to 45 again. And then unbelievably, it just rocketed back up um, to, four, to a high of 45.60 and then just settled at exactly the price where um, I chose to sell the, uh, the short purchase from yesterday and that's where we are right now 45 45 um, so that's definitely a very solid resistance level um, and uh, you know we might end up just being staying here for the open um, which suits me just fine um, basically I'm going to be looking to repurchase my short if the bulls are able to stay in control um, my target is somewhere around the 46 level so if we manage to get to 46 or above 46, even better, um, I'll be re repurchasing that same short position um, from yesterday in anticipation of a return down to 45. Um, will that happen today? Your guess is as good as mine, but uh, I'm, you know, given, given the drop that we experienced on positive news yesterday, um, you know, EIA reports, API reports the day before came out and said um, we've got big draws and yet the bears were able to win the day and drag us down. Um, yes, we closed in the green, um, but the fact that the bulls weren't able to really uh, push us any higher based on such positive news makes me feel more confident in being bearish. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're not going to 47, 48 or higher. Um, but um, I have those long positions that would become profitable in the, at those price points regardless. Um, so what I'm doing by purchasing uh, short at these prices, um, let's say 46 for example, is really preparing for the return down to the lows of hopefully um, you know, 44, 42 in the weeks ahead. I'm not saying that that will happen uh, today or this week. I'm just saying that I do feel confident that it will happen in the next short term, um, however you want to define that. Uh, out of, uh, in case you guys are curious, uh, down below here, you'll see the, uh, the day chart on my tradingjournal.ca account from yesterday. You can see that uh, the purchase, we did pretty well actually when you look at it uh, from this perspective. Um, you know, here's our buy at, uh, at around 10 a.m and we sold just before closing. Uh, we missed, of course, the absolute lows, we missed the absolute highs, but I mean, you can't ask for much better than that. Uh, it was a small position, so a small profit, um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a great play and I'm really happy with how it turned out, especially since it looks like we're going to open higher than where we sold. <laughs> so that's always a little uh, kind of pat on the back. Um, if instead we don't climb and the bulls uh, relinquish control to the bears and we drop, then it's really just a matter of kind of waiting to see how far we go, how, how far we drop. Um, if we manage to get to 44 in a rapid way, uh, meaning you know it's a sudden drop to 44 ahead of um, European closing, I'll be looking to sell my short position um, that's in at 45.30. I'll be looking to sell that at uh, 44 and I'll also be looking to purchase a long position at below 44. So you've heard me say this um, many times before because this was my strategy from earlier this week as well as late last week uh, that never really uh, materialized. I was never able to actually execute that because 44 just proved to be too tough a resistance level and we never got to my target prices. Um, so I miss out on a lot of volatility plays, unfortunately, um, but my target prices haven't changed. Um, so that's kind of my plan. 
If we go up, I'm waiting for 46 to add to my shorts. If we go down, I'm looking at 44 in order in uh, in, in order to enable me to exit my existing short, as well as to um, look at adding longs. I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. Uh, hit me down below on uh, YouTube in the comments, or check me out on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio and trades and charts. And uh, good luck to all. I'll check back with you guys at the end of trading near uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Cheers.